Youth are leading the way to a better, brighter, more resilient future. UN Habitat's Youth 2030 Cities Initiative created a compendium of promising practices highlighting incredible youth-led action from around the world. First, let's check out what youth in Cali, Colombia are up to. En Vivo Mi Calle, impulsamos el cumplimiento de los Objetivos de Desarrollo Sostenible en nuestra comunidad. En Vivo Mi Calle estamos enfocados en tres ODS. ODS número 3, que es eh, Salud y Bienestar. ODS número 5, que es Igualdad de Género. Y ODS número 11, que es Comunidades y Ciudades Sostenibles. La juventud es el corazón de Vivo Mi Calle. En las diferentes actividades y transformaciones que ha realizado Mi Calle, como el Puente de Colores, el Aula de Mi Calle y la Ruta Saludable de Palmira, hemos participado 3.447 jóvenes. Nos hemos graduado 40 jóvenes como líderes juveniles con la capacidad de hacer cambios en nuestras comunidades y generar entornos más sostenibles. Vivo Mi Calle ha significado mucho para la comunidad ya que hay más libertad, más seguridad y nos hemos unido más como personas. También eh, hemos aprendido a valorar todo lo que nos han dado y pues su tiempo que nos han dado. Vivo mi calle para mí es un aprendizaje donde yo aprendí muchas cosas, aprendí a compartir, a tener confianza, a divertirme, a expresarme y sentirme como yo soy y aprendí que los niños, niñas y adolescentes tenemos voz y voto para lo que sea. Youth are taking the reins in creating safer and more inclusive public spaces. Now, let's see how Altavalo, Ecuador is using their historical spaces to teach youth about indigenous heritage, customs, and yes, they are even teaching their community about the sustainable development goals in the Quechua language. Mi nombre es Pancarita Maldonado, eh, soy de Otavalo. ¿Cómo participamos los jóvenes dentro de los Objetivos de Desarrollo Sostenible? La juventud no solo somos el futuro, sino también somos el presente. Mediante el intercambio de opiniones, eh, nosotros buscamos eh, brindar diferentes soluciones innovadoras eh, desde nuestros contextos. Lo que nosotros queremos es también hacer escuchar nuestra voz, eh, unirnos entre todos y ser una sola fuerza. En estos espacios de intercambio de opiniones se nos ha permitido mejorar nuestras habilidades, nuestras experiencias y también mejorar nuestro nivel de resiliencia dentro de nuestras comunidades. Las organizaciones dirigidas por jóvenes líderes, así como eh, también adultos jóvenes, necesitamos estos, estos tipos de espacios para poder eh, expresarnos, poder dar nuestras opiniones y posibles soluciones para un mejor desarrollo sostenible de, nuestro, de nuestra sociedad, de nuestra ciudad y de nuestro planeta. Hola, mi nombre es Aidy René Zambrano. Yo soy el guía en este lugar, en el Museo Viviente Tabalango. Eh, bueno, eh, nosotros estamos ubicados en la ciudad de Otavalo, en Babura, Ecuador. Estamos desde el 2011 dándonos a conocer como un museo del pueblo Quicho, Otavalo. Estamos ubicados en una ex hacienda de 1821. Luego pasó a ser una fábrica en 1858 y en el 2011 se transformó en el Museo Viviente Atabalango en el cual nos dedicamos a hablar de la cultura, de las tradiciones, de toda la vivencia del pueblo indígena otavalo. Les hago una cordial invitación a todo el pueblo otavaleño, a todo el pueblo ecuatoriano y a todas las personas de distintas partes del mundo que vengan a conocer el Museo Viviente Otavalango. Sean todos muy bienvenidos acá a la ciudad de Otavalo y en especial acá al Museo Viviente Otavalango. Now, let's hop over to Beirut, Lebanon, and see what youth are doing to respond to the explosion in Beirut to help rebuild their communities. Hello, this is Nadine Khawle, co-founder of Café Bekafa. We are a group of young people coming from different backgrounds, different locations, working in the heart of Beirut 
to support people in need coming from all over Lebanon. Ever since 2019 and even before, Lebanon started to face a lot of socio-economic and political instabilities. And with the COVID-19 pandemic, the situation became even worse. We couldn't stand doing nothing, seeing our people suffering. We joined efforts and we asked the support from our family and friends first. And we went to the ground, helping the families and people living in marginalized areas. And our first campaign took place during the holy month of Ramadan in 2020. After the blast, Tafi Bekafak was ready to provide the help and support. And we initiated a crowdfunding through which we collected donations from all over the world. And we used the money to rehabilitate affected houses and to cover rent fees for displaced families in addition to food aids and medication fees. In Café Bikafak, we believe that the power of youth is the common prosperity for the entire world, regardless how difficult the circumstances are. No power in this world can match with the courage and motivation of young people in driving the change. Youth are the force of action and change even amid crisis. Let's see how the Kabira community in Kenya responded to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, my name is uh, Moses uh, Tito Omondi, uh, one of the founders of uh, Kibera Community Emergency Response Team uh, that is known for implementing the Adopter Family Project. Uh, currently, uh, Kibera Community Emergency Response Team is uh, situated uh, in Kibra in a place called Olympic. And uh, basically our mission is uh, to uh, prevent and uh, respond uh, to situations around uh, emergencies uh, with the focus of informal settlements. We engaged uh, 14 uh, young people in, uh, in, in this project. My name is Dana Komboka. I'm from Kibera Community Emergency Response Team. I engaged in the Adopter Family Program during COVID and I used to do food distribution and hand washing program and uh, adopt a family and as I used to do the food distribution I found it so fulfilling and being of service to the community was one thing I was really grateful and seeing the vulner vulnerable families being helped was very fulfilling. My name is Moses Otieno from Kibera. Uh, I took part in the the volunteering team. So during that time, I felt I felt engaged in these community community activities, and that gave me pride uh, of helping my, my fellow brothers and my fellow sisters in the community. Thanks, Moses. Now let's head on over to Albania, where the Tirana Street School is using public space renovation to make schools safer and more enjoyable for youth. To build healthy play, we have to build healthy streets. Over the past three years in Tirana, we have piloted a powerful kind of street transformation to do just that. These safe walking and play areas surrounding schools have two main goals. To create inclusive, anti-discriminatory spaces, and to use a community engagement process to empower local champions who will continue fighting for healthy streets. Për shumë detje, unë quem kërësi dhe jam një panori lagjes. Në lidhje me projektin që është bërë tani së fundmi në lagjen time, unë jam i kënaqor. Atëherë, gje e parë që dua tanis është rruga ime për në shkollë. Unë e kam rrugë shumë afrë nga shpje ime për në shkollë, është rrugë shumë afrë, por duhet të ketë siguri për i makinave, sepse sa po hyrë, sa po dalë, jashtë shpisë time, jashtë portës, makinat kalojnë aty. As një metër më ljarë, makinat mund kalojnë edhe me shpici, ka fasë për rastë. Pra ndaj duhet të bëjë shumë kujdesë. Që që më pëlqenë në lidhje me këtë projekt është janë edhe stolla që janë vënë në përlagje, kështu që me këtë gjë mund përfitojme edhe për të mëshuarit, sepse ata mund të ullen dhe të qlodhen aty nga një rrugë. Më pëlqenë shumë edhe paralelet që janë bërë, sepse aty mund të ushtrojshë. School streets can be places that support health, reduce inequalities, 
make our cities and communities more sustainable, and initiate even more climate action. While youth are disproportionately impacted by the consequences of climate change and violent conflict, their integral role in leading action towards sustainable development is no longer in question. The Children and Youth Assembly at Wolf 11 seeks to embolden youth voices, highlight youth action, and craft a pathway for youth-led sustainable urbanization.